Hey everybody, this is Stangboy Prime. First review. This is actually the third take because my webcam sucks. Uh -huh. And well, I'm working with my uh, my handheld digital picture camera right now. Let's see how it goes. This is my first review of the. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the TMNT movie, and this was actually a request. I mean, I know this is my first review, I haven't uh, given you anything to go off of yet, but I put up a bulletin that said if you had any requests, just let me know, and I'd, I'd uh, try to get to them. And I got a reply from Sarah MLP. And she wanted to see my Ninja Turtles. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Uh, none of y'all know how it's going to turn out. This is my first review, so let's um, get cracking. Ninja Turtles from the movie. Here we have Donatello with his uh, purple headband and his bow. We have Leonardo with his blue headband and his swords. I uh, would say they're katanas, but uh, they're a little too straight for that, I think. Either way, somebody would somebody would message me and I'd be it'd be wrong or something and I just don't like their swords, you know. Anyways, here we have Raphael with his red headband and his size. I always thought those were the coolest weapons. No, you stay standing. And last but not least, we have Michelangelo. His uh, modified nunchucks. And his orange headband. There's a reason he's only holding one nunchuck right now. I will get to that when I get to him. Let's start with... Let's get all these guys off to the side. And start with this guy, Donatello. These are, are, they're really good figures. They are, uh, he's got a kind of a soft belly. He is not the lightest green. He's a fairly light green. Uh, I don't know why the camera is making his body look darker than his arm and head, but uh, in real life it doesn't quite look that different. Alright, I'm going to apologize in advance. For the third time, because I don't have all of the accessories that came with them, because I'm in the process of cleaning my room right now. It is a wreck, and I don't know where all the pieces are. I do have all of their weapons though, and that's okay. His weapon, obviously he can hold it in both hands, or he can put it in his belt and have it stored like that for when he's just standing there talking or whatever. Go into the articulation here. Actually let's do a little bit more about the figure. First he for whatever reason has a very angry, scowly look on his face. He He's tired of putting up with Raphael and Michelangelo's crap without Leo there, I guess. <laughs> really don't know why, but enough of that. Let's get into the articulation. Turtle figure, so it's really not, well, actually, this these are really, really well articulated for turtles figures, at least uh, to my knowledge, because I'm used to playing with the original turtle figures, which I will bring in here in a minute. For size comparison with Raphael. But articulation. His head, he can pretty much, he can't look very far. Oh my god, I killed Donatello. He can't look very far up. Otherwise that'll happen. He can look down a little bit though. Not much, but hey, it's articulation. His head can rotate a full 360 degrees. That's gotta be painful, sorry bud. Uh, can rock from side to side. It's on a ball joint, as you saw. 
I'm only going to do the uh, articulation review on this guy because they're all, other than the color, the face, and the belt, they're all the same. Articulation. His arm, he can raise it all the way. Raise it all the way. Back down. Has full 360 degree rotation at the shoulder. 360 degree ro uh, twisting. I don't really. I don't know. Revolution? No. Either way, okay. 360 degree around, 360 degree twisting. He can bend at the elbow. About that much. Not quite 90 degrees. Almost, but not quite. Back. The wrist goes a 360 degrees, full 360 degrees, no articulation in the feet, which kind of bugs me because they're, they're not flat, so it's not really all that stable unless you can get it in a good position. Okay, obviously he doesn't have any waist articulation because of the way it's built. He's just a big shell on the back here, and there's really no way to turn because of that. His leg will twist 360 degrees. It can kick up about 90 degrees. Back up. Back down. And he bends at the knee. Uh, almost 90 degrees, but it's kind of permanently bent, so it's not really. And there we have um, Donatello. Put him back here off the side. Ah, lava lamp hot. Next, we will go with Raphael, my favorite Ninja Turtle. His size right here. Red headband. Another reason he's my favorite. The red headband same articulation, so I'm not going to go into that. His size, he can hold in both hands, obviously. Or, they can go in these little uh, loops on his belt for storage. For storage. And he is the darkest green skin tone out of all of them, as you can tell, well, so far. Um, I really don't know why. Somebody out there probably does, but I don't. Um, I just say it's because he's got the uh, darkest personality, he's kind of a loner, and the director just wanted to get that across. His face, 